Hey guys, Jason here for Chart Guys. I have three different trades I want to show you on BABA that I recorded earlier today. Uh, before we get into the actual entries and exits, I want to show a little bit of context to help you understand why I was looking for what I was looking for. Then we get into the real fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Hey friends, Jason here for the Chart Guys doing a trade setup on BABA. Like a lot of people, we've been watching BABA just bleed itself dry. And we're wondering at what point is this going to be enough and we're going to start to see some daily upside. Well, we need to go through all the different time frames and take a look at what sort of requirements we would need to see to be looking for an entry. On the daily time frame, we have been oversold, and we see this aggressive trend has really, really picked up speed through here, but it's starting to slow down just a little bit on high volume. So we're running into a volume shelf, or at least we could be establishing a volume shelf at this point. The daily oversold doesn't seem to matter too much. We go to the four hour time frame, we can see that. A trend picking up speed we can see the volume picking up speed and we have an oversold in the four hour so that doesn't matter hourly time frame starts to build out a trend we can see these lower highs and lower lows so that's going to need to change for the hourly bulls to want to get involved hourly has been oversold many times and doesn't really seem to matter as an oversold indicator anymore if we go to the 15 minute time frame we can see these highs and lows essentially we're at a 50 minute oversold now but we know we're in an hourly downtrend. So having just hit new lows, we need to start scouting for short-term changes where we have momentum to the upside like we saw over here before bleeding back down. So there are short-term opportunities in BABA and that's what we're trying to find. What we don't want to get into is a situation like we saw on Friday where we try to go bullish and we get caught in a wedge and we just bleed on the two minute time frame all the way down until the end of the day where we get this little counter trend. So on the two minute time frame from BABA today, we see a drop, we see a bounce attempt right to where EMA 12, we see a rejection and now we're seeing low. So we need to see a two minute trend change with nice positive upside. And ideally we would look for this five minute bear flag to play out all the way to the downside. One way we can do that is by projecting the approximate distance of a perfect world flag from our phase one to our phase two to our phase three, which would put us in the range of, let's say 140, let's call it 150. So if we start to get down there and we reach 150 without looking too different on the five minute time frame, that would be one potential area for us to look for an entry. Otherwise, what we're gonna do is look for a two minute trend change to try and demarcate the bottom of what we hope we would become an hourly low. Let's go look at that. Uh, again, on the hourly time frame, mark out our low now, go back to our hourly. What we're essentially looking for is this area to become an area like this or like this, where we have a short term upside opportunity, which allows us to get a quick trade in. And it also allows us to, if the bulls are willing, uh, find the bottom of a potential daily bounce. So we'll be scouting and watching and looking for an entry in this area. And I'll let you know if I decide to take anything. So I went back and noticed that I didn't have the mic on when I recorded the actual initiation to the trade. So the entry for the part you are about to see is the high over top of this candlestick, 154. The reason I entered was a new low, a bounce, higher volume, and a break of 154. Stop would have been 153.29, new low of day. Let's watch what happens. All right, I'm looking to scale out of the, my first little trade here. The reason for that is that we're expecting two minute lower highs under 155.85. If we go to the five minute time frame, we're looking for a lower high, a higher low, and then a trend change. So it would look something like this. Best case scenario for the bulls. Now, I don't want to get caught in the downturn of that. So I'm going to go to the 15 second time frame and I'm going to be looking for reasons to exit. And I think I see one right now. Yeah, I'm jumping up. Okay, so we are out of the first little trade. Uh, what we're expecting again is that lower high, lower low situation. If we go to the two minute time frame, we are setting up a potential for a wedge. Uh, what a wedge would do is give us, we don't need that area of support anymore. A wedge theoretically could give us a pattern that would look something like this. Maybe we're even gonna build a little bit of a, a channel at this point. Why don't we draw that out? Let's see if we can start adhering to a channel formation. So a channel formation would have us looking for an area of resistance essentially right around now. Uh, looking for that weakness. We've already seen the loss of the 15 second trend. Now what we want to do is see more uptick in bear volume and we want to see if this actually carries over. So we have a 15 second uh, lower high. We're starting to lose some support. So looks like we, at least in the short term, made a decent decision. So it's less likely we're going to see the five minute higher low now, which is fine. 
We're looking for a bear break at 153.10 to confirm that we're not going to see that five minute higher low. What's interesting though is if you get into the very sub time frames, uh, we're going to be looking at short term oversold conditions. So 15 second time frame <clears throat> is looking for an oversold condition. We're at 26.45 RSI. So what we're going to look for is a flush under and get our entry right now. Okay. All right. So we are in. And what we're going to anticipate is that this was a flush under low of day on good volume into our trend line support. And what we want to see is a change of trend here to the upside to check our resistance once again. One of the really valuable things that I like to do is just draw on my charts. I'm always drawing, redrawing, erasing, drawing again, trying to talk myself out of biases and just using the data that's available in the most optimal way. So there's a couple of things we can look at. We already checked out that two minute channel. It seems to be working okay, but what if we're looking for something else? What if we're missing something? Well, what we could also be looking for is a wedge. We talked about that a little bit initially, a range between our highs and lows, sort of losing pace a little bit. And if we go here and draw these two points, it's a little bit different than we had on our channel. Neither of these is really confirmed on the support side of things. But what we do know for sure is that on the resistance side of things, if I connect this high and this high, it correlates pretty well with that high. So if we get a third test of support down here, bounce off this area, that is going to be a nice wedge formation. And I would be looking to play a little bit of a bull break on that. So a little bit of a bull break, uh, ideally a higher low and a higher high into an area of resistance, let's say, 155.85 would actually be a beautiful target if we saw that come into play. Now, the difficult part with these patterns is that they constantly evolve and adapt. And what I say based on the information now is going to be different than what I'm going to say in about 15 seconds when this trend is a little bit different. So we're just constantly adapting, constantly speculating and saying, if this happens, then I will do that. All right, so same idea as last time. I'm going to be looking to the 15 second time frame for a reason to stop out. We're making a nice bull move, but we're getting overbought. We don't want to be working too hard against the trend. So I'm going to stop out now at 153.74. Entries over here somewhere. And we're going to be riding this up as long as we can. All right, so I'm looking to scale out of that second trade now. The reason for that is that on the 15 second time frame, we're getting overbought. We're coming up against an area of resistance and we are looking for a lower high under 154.50 is the most likely outcome on the two minute time frame to maintain this overall downtrend. EMA 26 resistance right here. We're going to plunk in this area at 154.50 as a target. So we'll go to our 15 second time frame and I say, look, I'm going to jump out at the loss of our 15 second higher lows. And I think for me that right there is 153.96. So we've got our new 15 second level. Stop out at 154.19. Right against an area of resistance. We'll come back once we determine who is win this battle. All right, I'm going to walk the stop up again. 154.38. I'm going to move my stop up again. 154.60. And I'm just going to keep doing this because I know we are going to see some pullback. And I want to get out and get the higher low on that pullback. 154.74 now. All right, so here we are looking at our trade on the two minute time frame. We got our trend change over 155.01. Uh, still looking for a two minute higher low. It will come at some point. So on the 15 second time frame, I have my stop at 154.74. I'm just going to keep walking it up. I want to get as much out of this as I can. 154.86 now. And eventually it is going to turn. We're getting close to two minute overbought and we're likely to come back down and set a two minute higher low in this range. Stop to 155.16. All right, so we're stopped out now. Uh, we will reassess and plan any new trades that may come. All right, jump back to the desk here. It looks like we made a decision with that stop. Uh, we're fading in the 15 second, but 15 second doesn't give you perspective. Let's go see what the five minute time frame is doing. Let's get rid of our wedge now. And what are we trying to do? We're starting to send a five minute higher low over the low of day, which would give us that head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, low, lower, low, higher, low situation. That becomes more likely because we broke the last five minute high. 
So that resistance is broken. EMA 26 is our major area resistance now, looking for a five minute higher low here. So what do we need to find for evidence of that? We need to go right down to the one minute time frame, look for signs of trend change, double bottoms, similar, basically the opposite of what we were looking up over here. Uh, on this case, we can see that this was a one minute consistent higher lows. This is a little bit different because we are channeling just a titch. So we go to our 15 second time frame, same game all over again. Can we get a bull break? Here is a 15 second higher low. Now we need a 154.15 break. And we'll start looking at a possible entry at that point because yes, we are anticipating a five minute higher low over the low of day. Let's see here, one minute time frame. Not great bull volume. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a little bit of this pullback. Okay. I'm in. And I wanted a break at that 153.79. Now my stop loss at this point is going to be low of day because the bears are still technically in control. Two minute time frame hasn't even changed. What we're looking for is this the bulls to have that momentum to get a little bit of a higher low and start to push and get that five minute higher low locked in so i'm going to move my stop now and the reason i'm going to do that is because i quite like the overall way the day is going i'm going to move my stop loss to 153.20 because i want to give myself a little bit more room for a two minute higher low and hopefully get that five minute little miniature back test into upside 155.50 would be the target right now Now we're a bit more comfortable. We can move our stop loss to 153.92 because that gives us a two minute higher low, a one minute higher low. Let's do that right now. So we'll set it to 153.88. All right, I'm feeling we're gonna get stopped out here. Uh, we just saw a big bear push come in. Uh, not really correlated to the overall market that I can see yet, but we are in a bearish name. Uh, big volume coming in. Uh, our low on that candlestick, 153.90. So by one penny, we managed to not be stopped out. You know what? Those little, tiny little bits of buffer, I hate being stopped out by a penny. So far, I haven't been, but I very well could be on the next little push down. But I certainly would be frustrated if I uh, set it at 153.91 and got stopped out by two pennies. No, thank you. All right, so we are still bouncing around. Haven't broke below 153.89 yet. Uh, more or less going sideways, so we have a little bit of range trading action. 154.56 is a short-term resistance. Get over top of that. Bulls resume control, and we'll just walk our stops up to whatever the next two-minute low is. Uh, 155.50 is still the target. So we saw a bit of a volume climax in the 15-second time frame, pulling back now, trying to get another two-minute higher low. Ideally, that will happen over 154.56, former areas of resistance becoming support. So far, so good. All right, we're gonna walk our stops up from the 153.80s to 154.71. Go to our five minute time frame. We are well through our 155.50 area resistance. Haven't really seen any slowdown yet. So we're just gonna let the trends do their thing. Um, that's that. All right, we got another squeaker stop hunt on BABA 154.71. A low 154.70, so by one penny, the uh, the sellers are really trying to just get these quick stop losses and hunting them real, really close. Uh, that's why we give ourselves that buffer. Just a little bit every time. I'm about to go live with the chart, guys, for our midday stream. I'm going to move my stop loss up to 155.96 just to play it ultra safe. Because I can't be attending to this while I'm streaming and I'm looking for a five minute higher low at some point. All right, we just finished our stream. Uh, looks like our stop out was good initially, but what did we hold? We held our five minute higher lows and managed to hold this low of, where is this candlestick here? 154.70, 154.72. So we had just let the market decide with the loss of five minute higher lows, we'd still be in this trade. But we can't complain too much. What we can do is look for a new opportunity. So we have a 15 minute uptrend. We have uh, a five minute uptrend. We're gonna be looking for either consolidation patterns or higher lows. 